Hey guys, today we are going to be doing Wheel Picks My Nails. It will be choosing the length, the shape, what shades I'm gonna use, what design, any charms, any rhinestones, and quite possibly anything else I can think of during this. This video is very kindly sponsored by Model Ones. We will be using their products today to create the nails, and I have quite a few things to choose from. So we're gonna be using stuff from their A&W collection, which is autumn and winter. We have this set of 12 acrylics, and these two gel polish kits with tons of fun stuff in them. I will show you everything inside this stuff and swatch everything when the time comes up on the wheel. If you are interested in any of these products, they will of course be linked down below. So let's get started. I have the first step of the wheel all laid out, so the options are spin again, David's choice, short, medium, long, extra long, and extra, extra long. I'm going to be using tips today, so the extra, extra long would be the full length of the tip, essentially. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. This is shiny, so there was a pretty bad glare unless I angled it like this. So my apologies if it's not like super easy to see. So here we go, let's do the length. I'm nervous. I'm gonna close my eyes. Short! Okay. I mean, I guess that's the beauty of the wheel is that you're sort of pushed to do stuff that you wouldn't normally choose. So today, you guys are in for a treat. We're doing short nails. Well, my version is short. My version of short is probably a lot of people's medium, but we gotta have a little bit of room on there to, you know, do some stuff. We will do short nails. I'm so surprised. Okay, so let's get the tips on and cut them short. <laughs> so I have my bare crusty dusty nails, but not for long. We're gonna use a couple things out of this kit to prep our nails. So you get a lot in these little kits and there's pretty much this cool toned one and this more warm toned one. So what we'll need out of this is this little buffing block. It looks so cute small and this little file. It does come with a little cuticle cutter thing as well but as we can already tell, I've already mangled my cuticles per usual. So before we put our tips on, I'm just going to lightly rough up my nails with the smoother side of this buffing block. Not too much buffing, just a little bit of roughing up. Most of the time, I don't find buffing blocks to be too smooth to use to rough up my nails. If you're using a super fine one, obviously that will not work because your nails will be smooth and things won't wanna stick to it, but if you have one that's kind of rough, you're good. Next, I'm gonna go in with my dehydrator. Make sure that everything is nice and dry. Okay, and here are the tips. So hear me out. <laughs> I had this, I got it in, right? I opened it and approximately 30 seconds later, my dog stepped on it. Somehow hard enough to completely break it. And uh, there was not enough time to get another one. So hopefully I won't need whatever length this one was. I only have a couple. Making sure they're all sized right. Okay, nice. I wasn't sure about these tips because they do have a curve, but they do still go straight, which I do like. I don't really like when nails do the like curve and then it points downwards, but they're still straight on the edge like that. So I do like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's cut them. I'm gonna be honest, like 20 minutes ago, I was like this close to cutting it and then my bug person showed up and they had to spray the house. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, That's sh short to me. <gasps> oh. I'm gonna do also just like a tiny bit longer than what like short is because we don't know what shape we're gonna need yet. And sometimes you need a little bit of extra length for certain shapes. Time to find out the shape. For the shape, we have quite a few options. Some non-conventional, so I'm just gonna go through it really quick. We have stiletto Instagram choice because I had a lot of extra spaces, honestly. Lipstick. Squoval, so squoval is like a square, but the edges are rounded, they're not sharp. It's like, ee, ee, like that. Spin again, my choice, square, oval, the dog's choice. Not sure how I would do that, but we'll cross that bridge if we get there. Almond, round, spin again. David's choice, mountain peak. That one would be a little bit hard with these, so the bottom of the tip wouldn't start to like go directly up, it'd go and then like that. And then stiletto, of course. So, okay, I'm gonna do this. And also, I just wanna say really quick, cause I know this would go through my mind if someone was doing this. I 
swear on my dogs that I am not re-spinning. What I get is what I get. It wouldn't be fun if I like was essentially choosing it. You know what I mean? That would take the fun out of it. It's one and done for me. So let's do it. Oh. Round. Okay, so not quite oval, but round. We can do that. Not nearly as scary as I thought it was gonna be. These nails should be a lot more natural than for a lot of you that like more natural nails. I'm referring to the shape and length. I have no idea what we're gonna do about the colors and stuff yet, but again, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So let's shape them. So I'm just going to chop off the edges of all of these. That will save us some filing time. Here is what I would consider round. For oval, I would probably go in a little bit more like that and round that off so there would be a lot less on the sides here. So I think this is pretty true to round, sort of like a half circle, if you will. Got the shape. Now I'm just going to smooth out the edges a little bit and also just smooth out the tip to mesh with my nail a little better. See, look at that. Wow. Okay, I cleaned this cuticle the best I can so what had happened, right? I know I don't have to explain anything, but it'll bug me if I don't talk about it. So I only got that little bitty bit right there, but what happens is I bleed a little bit easier and a little longer than normal. It just takes longer for my body to clot. To build the nail, we are going to use this acrylic set. There are 12 colors and there's actually a really good range they're all labeled by numbers, so let me swatch them really quick for you. So today I'm going to be using a number eight brush. We're going to be doing some short nails, so I need a small brush. Then of course our monomer. These acrylics are labeled from 56 to 67, so I will go in that order. And here are our swatches. I love the range for these. I especially love number 60 and I love number 63 also. These ones with the glitters are so pretty. The only one that gave me a little bit of trouble was 61. There was a tiny bit of marbling, but that was the only shade that didn't act like 100% right. On the wheel, I have put one to seven. Each number is on there two times. And this is going to be the amount of spins, not the amount of colors, the amount of spins that we are going to do when it's time to choose the color and any little extras that I may throw in, you will have to see. But this is just the amount of spins we are going to do. So could be one, could be all the way up to seven. So let's see how many spins we're going to do when it's time to choose our shades. Four. Oh, I wrote that upside down, didn't I? It's not my best layout. Okay, so we'll do four spins. Added everything to the wheel. So I've added every shade and there were 12 shades and there's 14 slots. So I've also added a French tips option and also an ombre option. So we have four spins. It's okay, ready? French tips, 58, 62, 65. We have our three shades plus a extra design choice, which is the French tips. And so let's do some French tips with these three shades. I have my monomer and my brush. Look at how pretty this brush is. The glitter is so cute. And then we also have our three shades here. So let's get started on these French tips. And then we will also do designs on top of that with the gel polish kits, but this will just be our base design coloring, I guess. First, I'm gonna use some of my primer. 
honestly, I don't have a good plan. Even just looking at the shades, I feel like these two are so similar. Kind of, this is just like lighter with glitter and then this one's just like a neon orange. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one as a base. So we'll start with that. This is going to be truly something I have never done before. I have never done French tip on short nails. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit more of a thinner French tip. So a bit more of a higher smile line. Honestly, also, I would almost never normally choose like red, orange. I don't know, I just don't feel like I love red or orange on me. I feel like it's just not my shade. You know, everyone has those couple colors where like you're like, mm, I don't know about that one. Even if you like the color in general, it's just like on yourself, you just don't, you know, love it. And that's just like red and orange for me. Sometimes with orange, like bright can be okay, but I just never ever almost do like, you know, fall like burgundy and burnt oranges and stuff like that. That's just a little bit out of my comfort zone personally. Nor Normally. So here is what I have. These acrylics that do have quite a bit of working time. So I was actually able to get the acrylic pretty much exactly where I want. And then I'm gonna wait until the end to do the tips because I'm either gonna do the orange or the glitter. And once that glitters in your monomer or in your brush, it's gonna take a little bit to get it out. So I don't wanna be like switching back and forth. Primer, once again. And you guys are seeing correctly. I am putting these on my natural nails and that means I'm going to be wearing them for a little bit. So with this acrylic, you're gonna wanna use it sparingly and in smaller beads. I'm working in pretty small beads right now because it is so cold in this room. I was actually thinking I might go like sit my monomer in front of the heater or something because it is taking a little longer to dry than I would like because it is freezing in this room, but I don't keep my heater on because I don't want it to affect the audio. So now I am just cleaning up our smile line and just making this top part a little more even. I'm hoping that whatever I have in mind for this design works out. I feel like if I can do it, it'll probably look really good, but it could also go really bad. This red definitely looks a lot more brown on me though. I'm trying to make sure these are all even and smooth so when we put our next layer on for the French tip, it looks nice and clean. Okay, so I have cleaned up my smile lines now and I feel like they actually look pretty decent and I'm really happy. So the next part on my plan is to use the orange. So I'm gonna do a super thin line, like honestly as thin as I can do it of this orange. And I am basically just going to try to wrap it around. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm going for underneath the nail actually, like that line of orange, because right now, obviously the orange is over, I almost want to say brown. I know it's like a deep, deep, deep red maroon, but when I file over that, it's going to just be a solid line, not like an ombre or anything. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to try to do this as clean as it's possible to me. That way I don't have to go back and do a ton more filing of like this layer because I feel like if I can do it clean, I probably won't have much filing to do before I do my last layer of the sparkly. I feel like it's a sparkly purple, honestly. I feel like it's gonna be so satisfying to file off like this orange on this color and reveal like a line. Okay, I hope it'll look as good as it does underneath that as it will on top. I think so. I think that I have pretty much made it even enough for it to do that. I hope so anyway, for when I filed it off. I hope that I did the right levels and stuff. Okay, so here we are with the orange. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. So I'm gonna just go in and do this sparkle. Look how pretty this one is. Like, I just love the sparkle. And I'm gonna do this one and I'm just gonna do it over the orange because I don't think it's gonna really matter that much. Okay, so here we are with the nails. I think that all of this is actually pretty good. I'm actually really happy with the smile lines. I'm gonna let this set up for just a minute and then I'm going to just do a, you know, like a quick little cleanup with the file and then we will get on to this one. Look at how pretty this one is. I love these sparkle ones. I'm not gonna do a lot of cleaning up for this, just like a tiny bit, you know? Okay, all cleaned up. And now let's move on to our glitter one. I'm really excited for the glitter. I'm glad that we're getting some glitter in this. 
And then I'm just going to fill the rest in on the tip. And this is probably going to be the easiest part because there's no smile line that we're gonna have to worry about. It's just time to fill everything in. Ooh, that does not look good. That's okay, I'll file it down. I'll file it, it's gonna be fine. This is a trust the process sort of thing, 1000%. Can you trust the process? I'm gonna try, I'm hoping that it turns out exactly like I have in my head. This kinda looks like nightmare candy corn right now. I'm honestly having a lot of fun. I was a little worried that I just was gonna not like whatever this was because it was just different, but I actually like that I'm like doing something new. And I feel like the fact that it was like sort of decided for me makes it a little bit easier to try something new. Cause like, I don't think I'm gonna wake up one day and be like, you know what? I'm going to do a set of short round tip, warm toned themed nails, you know? Oh my goodness. Imagine being like, okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Just kidding. Okay, so let's see if this goes how I hope it does. I hope it looks like that, but smooth. Okay, and here is the nail pretty much. Wow, how did we manage to do another Halloween set? Oh my gosh. I'm just going to fix up the rest of these really quick. Bonk. Here they are. I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. Now that we've laid down our acrylic, we need to decorate them. So I have a lot of options. I'm gonna show you what's in these little gel kits and we can try to figure out what to put on our wheel to decide what we're gonna put on the nails. Okay, so this is more the cool toned one. So starting out, you get eight gels. Now these black ones are a base and matte top coat for this set. And here are those swatches. They're literally like dead on to what is inside the package. Like almost exact, it blends in pretty much. The matte top coat on this one was really nice. It was pretty thin actually, which I thought was interesting for a matte top coat, which is nice because usually they're really thick, but it was pretty thin. Pretty much every single shade matches almost exactly. Like it's, it's really good. The blue and the green in this gel kit also glows. We also get a little lamp. Nice, cute, okay. Then you just, a little tweezer tool because we get some rhinestones, these little holographic pieces. And most fun of all, look at all of these little charms. And I really like these because look at how small they are. I mean, aside from the chain links, most of these are fairly small, which I really appreciate because especially if you do want to do short nails like this, but you still want charms, you still want to be able to wear them. So there's some gummy bears in there, some bows, pearls. And I also think this is just overall a really cute mix of charms and little clay pieces as a decoration. Very, very cute. I think we got some butterflies in there. Look at that flower. That one is so cute. So that's what you get in the little blue bag, but you get different stuff in the other one. I mean, a couple same things. Like you get a light again. And here are the swatches. So let's talk about these swatches. Oh my gosh. These two magnetic ones are some of the prettiest ones I've ever seen. They look good on camera, but they look even so much better in person. You can almost get entirely all of the little magnetic pieces out of the gel and into one spot. Like obviously there's gonna be a couple, but if you really work on it, you can get almost all of them and it just looks almost like clear jelly with that reflect. It is so pretty. I've had a lot of these magnetic ones and a lot of the time they're too thick to where you really can't push the little pieces inside around. This one, it is so easy. I absolutely love it. And then this one was so pretty too. I love these ones. I am like beyond impressed for those, like absolutely beautiful. And as far as the other colors go, they match the outsides of the bottles almost exactly. Quick side note, I don't know if you guys have realized, but across the gel polish kits and the acrylic, there is a version of acrylic for pretty much every single color of gel. Like this one I have on my nails right now. 
and they all match fairly well. They're not exact. This sparkly one that I have on the tip here is would correlate to this one, which I'm sorry, this one is just so much prettier. You can really see that effect now. Wow. Another one that was chosen for my nail. Here's it from the other kit. So if you loved one of these acrylic colors, but you don't use acrylic, they're available in gel. And honestly, I would say that they are almost better in the gel polishes. I just have to say because of that one. Other than that, they're all really, really pigmented. All of these are just one quick coat, no double coat, and they all cover really well. And I love that they all correspond. I've had plenty of times where I have a gel or an acrylic where I'm like, mm, I wish I had that in a gel versus an acrylic, vice versa. So I love that it's all like correlating and just so similar. And you know, I don't know if you wanna build your nail out of this, you know, brownish, reddish color and just put this on top, to just make it a super strong color, you can. So that's <laughs> that. I wanna make sure I didn't leave this one out if this one is also a magnetic one. I almost think that it is but this one was the first one I did a swatch for and it was like too pigmented for me to think that it was one of the magnetic ones, but let's see. Is it? Oh my gosh. You see that? It is. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. I've never seen one in this color. So this one is a little bit harder to see. Oh, there's a, what do I do? There's a tiny spider. Um, almost had a panic attack. I don't know why. Tell me why I could notice that. What is wrong with me? How do I notice that type of thing? You know what? I think that spider came for vengeance because I mentioned earlier that the bug person was here. That's all I have to say. Okay, anyway, back to this. This one is definitely more subtle, but I still really like it. Like this one would be such just like a good accent on things. So, so cool, okay. Like this is an example if you didn't wanna do any like magnetic moving with it, it's still a really pretty color. That's why I thought it wasn't even a magnetic one because it's just like really pretty and it was pretty pigmented, but you can see just how much the little pieces move. Very cool. All right, pulling out the last stuff, of course, there is also the cuticle cutter buffer and file in here. And then our last little piece of decor are these little gold bits. Got a bunch of them in there, some stars. Just a bunch of little random shapes, which actually, I like these. I haven't seen ones these shape before. Hopefully you guys can see. So on here I have hand-drawn art, chunky charms, hollow squares, the gold pieces, magnetic gels, clay pieces. I separated the idea of the clay pieces from the chunkier charms in this package. It's cause you know, we needed more slots. <laughs> The rhinestones. So I'm gonna use my discretion of how many times I'm gonna spin this wheel because there's really only so much we can do on short nails that I already kind of did a design for in the acrylic. Okay, I'm going to just do it. And honestly, I'm a little scared because stuff like, I'm so sorry, but these rhinestones, look at that. That is not gonna match these at all. So I'm a little scared. Ooh, okay. I'm just gonna spin it. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm not gonna look. Chunky charms. Okay. Okay. I'm sure we can find some really cute ones in here. Let's dump this out then. Let's see what we have to work with. So I'm just gonna pour all of these out. So we can see which ones we have. I really like these butterflies, but they don't quite match because they are like this hollow. I do like the heart, but I don't know if it matches. There is a tan-ish heart. Don't know if that matches either. This one is the cutest. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the white charm. So the hearts and maybe a bow or two. I know I had one right there. I think that will look okay. But first we need to see if we're gonna do a matte or a shiny top coat. David? Yeah? Do you wanna do the honors of spinning the last spin? Yes. Okay, so we're figuring out if we wanna do a matte or a shiny top coat.
Shiny. I'll be honest, I like matte top this more. <laughs> Although David was not super excited we're gonna do a shiny top coat. I actually am because I was gonna be a little sad if we weren't gonna get to see the glitters. What if I just like cured this in like that or something? I won't, but what if? Let's put this top coat on. I would also really love your guys' feedback on just this video concept. Do you guys like that I chose things that pushed me out of my comfort zone? Or do you guys like when I do things sort of in my style? Like, would you prefer if I did a video like this, but I only put options that were in my style on the wheel? For example, like I wouldn't even put short nails on the wheel. Do you know what I mean? Or I wouldn't include the colors I didn't love. You know, let me know if you guys like this where it has to be like completely random, whether I like it or not, or if you guys would like, you know, random within my style. I would love to know how you guys feel about that. I'm gonna put the bow on the middle finger. All right, last charm. I will say, regardless of how this set isn't my typical style, I'm actually really proud of myself with the acrylic. I feel like they honestly look pretty perfect. So that is today's video. I really hope you guys like it. It was actually really fun. And I think that these are growing on me just a little bit. I don't know if I would opt for short nails over long nails, but I actually like these a lot. I feel like I'm really proud of myself of how I did them, just with the acrylic and stuff like that. Once again, thank you so much Model Ones for sponsoring this video. I really love the gel polish kits. Those were definitely like the highlight of the products. I absolutely love, love that the color on the inside matches the outside perfectly. I really appreciate that as someone who has a lot of gel and it's hard for me to like pick through which is which. I know exactly what color that is, it's super helpful. I love that everything is all matching and that each kit came with slightly different charms and stuff. I will show you guys the outside shots, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like. It helps me out a lot and I super appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye. Oh my gosh. Okay, hello, surprise. I'm back. I put these tips on terribly, but I had this hand done, obviously I had a different set on this hand, but that set, it was like time to go. And there was a lot of length difference. And I really, 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 really want to use one of these magnetic type gels. So that's what I'm gonna do on this hand really quick. And I figure I'd come back and show you since these ones are super cool. This is not gonna be the best set, but you know. I think we're gonna go somewhat matching, so I'm gonna start with the base coat really quick. This is a super, super, super thin base coat, which I like. Helps some adhesion without bulking it up. It's like really thin, which again, nice. So I'm just gonna put this base coat on super quick. Okay, so I think for my base, I'm gonna do this color just to match. Alrighty, that went on nicely. Wow, so normal. I'm gonna pull out this purple from the other kit. I feel like it matches the tip of this pretty well. These gels are really thin, but still pretty pigmented. I'm super impressed by them. I'm thinking back on it now, and I think that Model Once was actually the first nail brand to ever send me anything in like PR. It was a set of gel polishes and I don't think I have them anymore because it was honestly like five years ago and they were like temperature themed gels. How time flies. Just doing a super quick double coat of everything. Okay, so we have some very normal looking nails now. I wanna try this one. Okay, so that's kind of how that would look on top. I know I'd have to like I love moving these around. Okay, so for these last couple, I'm going to pull out my lens. I wanna see how cool it looks, like super, super, super close up, but I can't talk during it because the focus on it just makes too much noise. <laughs> 